waiting list from the last event trying to get into this event. So that's why I'm giving you the heads up. So go onto the landing page, epsteinandwhite.com, or call this number. There's a nice, nice voice on the other end of the phone wanting to take your name and your number, and we'll get you on the manifest as well. And that same number I'm going to give you is that, is that same number that we will build you that customized retirement income plan, leave your checkbook at home. So if you want to get right into how does this planning, you know, what's this look like for me, this phone number will get that done for you as well. And that phone number is, by the way, I always can't, can't forget to say this, leave your checkbook at home and come on in and we'll give you all of this. And it's 888-564-7878. Once again, 888 888- Five six four seventy eight seventy eight. This is Retire Right with Epstein and White. I'm Jen Rizak alongside Dave Epstein and Brad White. And we started off the show today talking about that domino effect. We've all probably seen those videos that illustrate what we're talking about here. One tile tips over, knocks over the next one and so on, creates a chain reaction. We've been talking about how The same thing can happen with your finances. One decision leads to another and another and another. Brad, let me turn back to you now to see if you have any final thoughts you'd like to share with us. We'll give you the last word today. Anything you'd like to add on this domino effect or this chain reaction as it relates to our financial plans? Um, yeah, the, the, the best and only real way to avoid it is to, to get this plan done, to get this blueprint done. You know, we talk all the time about the importance of getting a plan done, Dave, and I went and just couldn't help myself. And I Googled, I think it was yesterday. Yeah. So it was just yesterday in preparation of uh, the show. I Googled, you know, just the top things you need to take into consideration when you're building a home. Mm -hmm. So I just Googled that. Yep. And I went to, I don't know, maybe a half a dozen different uh, websites and blogs of basically whatever shows up, you know, kind of the top six that showed up on Google in so many words. And without fail, the first step in every single one was to get a blueprint done. And for what it's worth, the second one on most of them, I think it was like four of the six that I looked at or some, some numbers, something like that. The second one was pretty much get the right contractor. Yeah, Hmm. that's also important. Having been down that path a couple of times, right? Yeah, you bet. That's hugely important, actually. What's what's so different between that and the 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 retirement plan? Nothing, not a thing. You know, if you have a question on taxes, the only way to answer that is in relation to your overall plan, right? If you have a question on how to choose Social Security correctly, the only way to actually get it correctly is to look at it in the context of your overall plan. If you want to know, quote unquote, do you have the right investments? Well, the only way to know is to talk to you about your goals and your situation and look at them in the context of your overall plan, your overall plan. So this Epstein White Retirement Income Master Plan, this whole concept of retirement planning is just making sure you get your blueprint done first. Mm -hmm. What your goals are, what you're trying to accomplish are not the same necessarily as what somebody else is trying to accomplish. Certain investments are the best investments to try to accomplish one type of goal. Other investments are much better for a different type of goal. So, you know, it doesn't mean that something's necessarily good or bad in a vacuum. You just might have a quote unquote bad investment or a bad idea just because you didn't, (laughs) you bought something without understanding how it fit in the blueprint, right? Of the rest of your home. Right. So to speak. And for a lot of people, as the market has been climbing up and up and up and accounts have been going high and, you know, you might still be working. So the paychecks are still coming in. There just doesn't feel like it's a sense of urgency. It doesn't feel like there's a reason to get a financial plan done, to get a retirement plan done. But there is. It's the same thing as your annual checkup in order to prevent something, you know, potentially really bad happening or something that can really detract from your retirement goals, if not destroy them. You know, it could be a huge problem later on, or it could be just a tiny fix now, right? It could be just some tiny information, some education, some clarity now, but forget about that for a second. It's a positive experience. You know, we, if you missed it, I also talked about um, a referral from a current client who had never gone through retirement planning and just the excitement. And and I got a follow-up email too of, you know, Hey Brad, I just want to let you know, like how much better I'm feeling just having some clarity in all this. It feels like I'm finally taking action. I mean, she had been stressing about this. It's been in the back of her mind, if not sometimes the front of her mind for a while now. Right. And all of a sudden it's this, the, this kind of warm thank you of, you know, I thought it was going to be. Sounds you know, like an aha moment to me. For Bradley. me, I thought if any thank you was coming as we talked through uh, some pension choices that were really helpful. And we talked through a couple tax things that were really helpful But no, once again, I got reminded that that's not what you were going to walk away from here. It's this sense of kind of this warm feeling of knowing, 
ah, this exhale, I can see my plan. I can see my retirement. I can now see that I'm going to be okay. And I can see actually how it's going to work. Right. And now I know what this all means. Exactly. We want that for you too. We've made it, I think, as easy as possible, Dave. We've yep. got no cost and no obligation for you. We have a great staff here, but they certainly deserve the weekends off. So when you call this number I'm about to give you, you know, a nice person's going to answer the phone, take some basic information from you. And then Dave Epstein here, president of Epstein & White, is going to personally give you a call either Monday or Tuesday. You know, find out a little bit about maybe what, what uh, prompted you to call in and how we might be able to help. Find a convenient time in your calendars, get you in to see us where there's no cost, there's no obligation. It's just any and all advice we can find to give you that same clarity and that warm feeling as well that so many have gotten from coming through our doors at Epstein and White. And that number is 888-564-7878. Once again, 888-564-7878. Or you can also go to epsteinandwhite.com. You've been listening to Retire Right with David Epstein and Bradley White on the Retirement News Network. Epstein & White Retirement Income Solutions is an independent financial services firm that helps people create retirement strategies using a variety of insurance and investment products. Epstein & White Retirement Income Solutions is not permitted to offer and no statement made during this show shall constitute tax or legal advice. Investment advisory services offered through Epstein & White Financial LLC, a registered investment advisor. Serving America's finest city. For 75 years. This is AM760. KFMB. San Diego's talk and breaking news. This is CBS News on the Hour. Sponsored by TheraWorks Relief. I'm Allison Keys. Travel will be a freezing mess for some of the millions heading back from the Thanksgiving holiday. Whiteout blizzard conditions are forecast for Kansas City, and there's a winter storm warning in Chicago, where up to a foot of snow and strong winds are expected. National Weather Service meteorologist Stephen Mell has some advice, especially for those who are driving. We recommend that people not travel unless they absolutely need to, and if they are traveling, to make sure that they have winter weather kit in case they do become stranded. WBBM-TV reporter Lauren Victory is at O'Hare Airport in Chicago, where people are still hoping to fly the friendly skies. Carriers like United are offering free flight changes. That might be the smoothest part of this process. It went from three to five, and now I hear they're doing nine inches, so we actually booked for the day before, and every flight we are on was packed, and everything was delayed, and it's like Christmas chaos level everywhere I've been at the airport so far. President Trump on a Twitter blast over that caravan of Central American migrants today, vowing no crossings. He has threatened to close the border, but Iowa Republican Senator Joni Ernst tells CNN. We would prefer that we keep it open, so let's work really hard to make sure we're addressing the asylum seekers before they actually come over the border. I think that's the intent of the president, is to, to divert any issues before they actually happen. Mexico is denying a report that it will allow immigrants seeking asylum in the United States to wait in that nation. Democrats, including California Rep. Adam Schiff, are still disturbed over President Trump's appointment of Acting Attorney General Matt Whitaker and that's effect on the Russian meddling probe. The American people need to know whether this president is obstructing justice, whether he's obstructed justice in the past, whether his appointment of Whitaker was designed to obstruct justice. The father of a black man killed by police during an Alabama mall shooting says his son had a permit to carry a gun. 21-year-old Demantic Bradford Jr. was fatally shot by a police officer responding to a Thanksgiving shooting that left an 18-year-old and 12-year-old wounded. Reporter Donna Francovia. The family of a black man shot and killed by a police officer say they learned about their son's death through the media. Meanwhile, a lawyer that they've hired is asking the Hoover Police Department to release a video of the shooting. But the police department is not confirming that any such video exists. In Northern California, the deadliest wildfire in the state's history is finally 100% contained. It killed at least 85 people, burned more than 153,000 acres, and destroyed nearly 14,000 homes. The fast-moving blaze also decimated the town of Paradise. This is CBS News. To experience relief from muscle cramps in your legs and feet, use TheraWorks Relief Fast Acting Foam. Get TheraWorks Relief today in the pain relief aisle at your local pharmacy or theraworksrelief.com. 
To experience relief from muscle cramps and soreness, use TheraWorks Relief. This fast-acting foam is proven to prevent and relieve foot and leg cramps. Get TheraWorks Relief today in the pain relief aisle at Walmart, CVS, Rite Aid, and Walgreens Pharmacies or TheraWorksRelief.com. ZipRecruiter, the smartest way to hire. ZipRecruiter posts your job to over 100 job boards with just one click, and then their smart matching technology finds the right candidates. Try it for free at ZipRecruiter.com slash CBS News. Are you drowning in IRS tax debt? Civic Tax Relief can help protect you from the IRS. Call Civic Tax Relief for free information now. Find out about the Fresh Start program that is now available through Civic Tax Relief. Civic Tax Relief's special tax hotline can help you discover all the relief programs available for free. Just call 800-316-8744. 800-316-8744. 800-316-8744. If you're a fan of the Disney movie The Lion King, you might want to sit down and grab your laptop. If the trailer's any indication, Disney has another hit on its hands. The trailer for the Lion King remake scored views from nearly 225 million people around the world just 24 hours after it was put online Thanksgiving Day. Remember. Impressive, but the 2017 trailer for Avengers Infinity Wars drew 238 million views, so it's still a record holder. The new Lion King is a live-action reimagining of the 1994 animated blockbuster. Sam Litzinger, CBS News. She's already an international celebrity. Now former First Lady Michelle Obama is a book queen as well. Crown Publishing says her memoir, Becoming, sold more than 1.4 million copies in print and digital forms in the U.S. and Canada since it was released last week. More than 725,000 sold on its first day. Allison Keys, CBS News. Now from the studios of News 8, live, local, San Diego's talk and breaking news. This is AM 760. A new bundle of joy at the San Diego Zoo is a huge surprise. That's one of the stories we're following on AM 760. Jason Campadonia explains. A 37-year-old ape, which are normally found in Malaysia and Thailand, had a baby recently. Zoo officials say Eloise had been on a chemical birth control for several years, but the Siming and nature found a way despite her age. Experts say the birth control wasn't foolproof, and they've kept Eloise with her mate because the apes thrive in a highly social environment. Olympic gold medalist Tara Lipinski will stop by the Hotel Del Coronado's Skating by the Sea ice rink on December 15th. And backyard composting workshops will be held today in Chula Vista. We're sponsored by San Diego County Credit Union. Double payback days are here. You could win double your purchase up to $1,000. No purchase necessary. For complete details, visit sdccu.com. In weather, right now we have fair skies and it's 61 degrees at Lindbergh Field. AM 760, talk and breaking news. Order! Order in the court! AM 760 KFMB presents The Lawyer in Blue Jeans with legal expert lawyers Jeff and Justin Isaac and their honest, down-to-earth, no-nonsense approach to your legal issues, otherwise known as Blue Jeans Law. The court is in session. Here are Jeff and Justin Isaac. Long as I can have you here with me, I'd much rather be forever in blue jeans, babe. Welcome to the Lawyer in Blue Jeans show. My name is attorney Justin Isaac, and I am flying solo today, actually. The Lawyer in Blue Jeans has uh, stayed behind. I think he had a little too much turkey on Turkey Day. Happy Thanksgiving to everyone on this Thanksgiving weekend, and I hope everyone had a good time. Um, today is a, a couple of days after Thanksgiving, and you know I was listening to the news as we were getting uh, brought in here for our show, and it sounds like there was another another shooting that related to Black Friday. Now it's a little odd because we have somehow gone away from Black Friday being on Friday, and now it's on Thursday. It seems like. They open, stores open up for a few hours and, you know, they have all kinds of deals and then they close and then they open again on Black Friday. So why even call it Black Friday? What's the point? And a lot of people don't like this. A lot of people are really against stores being open, but there's, I, I kind of see both sides to it because uh, there, there are a few states actually that have outlawed being open on Thanksgiving. Uh, in Massachusetts, Rhode Island, and Maine, 
they have a, a law on the books that says that retailers and um, and grocery stores cannot be open on Thanksgiving. So w- let me put the phone number out there. 1-800-760-KFNB. 1-800-765-362. What do you think about that? Give us a call if you want to chime in on this. I, I'm not a big fan myself. I don't think that we should have laws that say a store cannot be open or a retailer cannot be open if they choose so. Now, a lot of people think, well, the law is in place because we want to protect the people who work and uh, who have families and want to be with their family on Thanksgiving or other holidays. And I understand that. But also the business owner, maybe they want to be open and take advantage of people who forget because... Americans, we forget all the time. On Thanksgiving, you see how busy it is in the stores on Thanksgiving. This isn't a law in California, obviously, because everyone's been to the store on Christmas Eve, Thanksgiving, on these holidays. And you'll see there's people who forget things all the time. And they're in their last second grabbing something for Thanksgiving dinner or for whatever event they're going to. So, I, I mean, it's obviously there's a demand for it. But should we put, should we be putting legislation in place that says that you can't? be open and you know there's a lot of people who retail my fiance actually used to work in retail for years she was a manager for many years and she definitely did not want to work holidays but she kind of knew that came with the gig and so i i don't know if it's the right thing to do to you know make legislation that says we shouldn't be open those days but at the same time You know, the people who, you know, my fiance had to miss years and years of Christmas and Thanksgiving and other holidays. So it kind of goes with the territory, I guess. And also we're, we might be depriving people of, you know, other, what if you, what if you don't have a family? What if you don't celebrate, you know, certain traditions and you don't have anyone to go to? Well, if you want to work, then we should let you work. Why should we make a law that says otherwise? So I, I just I thought that was a little interesting, and if if you want to chime in, one eight hundred seven sixty KFNB one eight hundred seven sixty five three six two. If you want to chime in about that and let me know what you think, I personally am not a fan of the law, but I could see why people would want that in place. It totally makes sense to me. Now Black Friday it seems like there was you know there was some incidents over the weekend and or over the last couple of days, and if for for some reason it feels like it's going down. Maybe it feels like there's less and less incidents because it's spread out over Thanksgiving and Friday. I'm not sure exactly, but it seems like it's not been as bad as it has been in the past. However, there was a shooting. Uh, apparently, the cops in Alabama shot someone who they believed was a part of a shooting in a, a fight, but wasn't actually. So there's some details coming out on that, which is obviously it's really sad for the the victim the person who was shot but we need more information as to what's going on because obviously we're we're missing some key information but black friday is pretty bad it, it can get pretty bad out there there's even a website dedicated to people who have been injured or who have passed away as a result of things that happen on black friday people fighting over over certain things, uh, there's a, in, two, in 2011, there was a pepper spray incident where a woman went to go grab something and someone else grabbed it before her. So she just started pepper spraying people. And then there was a, a Walmart employee that was trampled uh, 10 years ago. And then you have a, a store in Torrance who decided to drop gift certificates from the ceiling into a crowd of people. And what what did they think that would do? Did they really think that that would be a good idea, that that wouldn't cause injuries, that wouldn't cause problems? So I guess that brings us to the next question. What kind of liability do these stores have when incidents happen on their turf? And a typical lawyer answer would be, it depends. If you have a situation where two patrons of a store are fighting over, you know, the latest, I don't even know what toys are out nowadays, maybe like a PlayStation 4 or something like that. If, if they're fighting, just all of a sudden it started out of nowhere over, over something like that, then I don't think the store would have any liability because the store didn't know that these two would spontaneously start fighting. Now, and, and also you can't really attribute the intentional torts of another. If someone goes up and punches someone in the face, the person who got punched can't sue the store saying, Hey, you should have stopped that person from punching me. Well, A, they didn't know that, that, 
uh, they were going to punch someone like that. And also, that's someone else's intentional acts. And usually in law, you can't attribute someone else's intentional acts to another like a store. But if you have an incident where you drop a bunch of gift certificates from the ceiling and you don't have the proper safety measures in place or precautions in place, then, yeah, you can probably put that liability on the store because what were they thinking? That, uh, of course, is going to cause an issue. People want free money. People want free things all the time. So, yeah, they're going to go They're gonna go crazy over it. So, looks like we do have a call, though. We have Chris in San Diego. Hey, Chris, how you doing? I'm doing good. Good. Just uh, driving into work this morning on Sunday. Ah, I see. So, what's your thoughts about the law? Uh, okay, well... Here's the thing. I'm a business owner, and that's why I work on a Sunday, because, you know, I've got to take care of my business and make sure it's there for my employees. Mm-hmm. Um, simple fix that you shouldn't regist- uh, legislate the employee, uh, the employers saying that they have to be shut. You know, like Agreed. you said earlier, it's a very valid point. You know, I forgot to get something on Thanksgiving Day. I was able to run over to the grocery store, grab something, go home, and be able to have a good Thanksgiving dinner, uh, dinner with my family. Mm-hmm. Uh, one thing I do is all federally recognized holidays, my employees have the option of being off. Yeah. The ones that do work, however, depending on what holiday is, I wind up paying them time and a half or double time. Yeah. And if you make it so that it's beneficial to the employee to work during those days, then the employees will work. So possibly putting a law in where during federally recognized holidays, the employees get paid time and a half or double time, regardless of how many hours they accumulated over the week, then um, it's beneficial to both sides. Yeah, I could, I could see that. And that's a very valid point, too, because, you know, people that is another thing that I, I should have brought up too. that people sometimes want to make the extra money. And so if you're in a situation where maybe your family's out of town or you just you know don't have any family to go to or you don't celebrate that particular holiday, why not make a little bit extra money because you're in need? There's a a demand for employees that day, so definitely makes sense. Absolutely, absolutely. But uh, I heard the last part uh, where you were just discussing about you know incidents happening in the stores. Um, from a standpoint of being a responsible person, um, what it boils down to is people need to stop holding other people accountable for their actions. If there's an incident at a store. It's the people that cause the incident, regardless of the situation. 100% true. They don't have to start a fight. They don't have to sit there and argue. They don't have to, you know. Yeah, it, you could walk you away. Know, the store, exactly. But that's our society in this day and age is we're so busy pointing responsibility everywhere else but ourselves. And the, the biggest incident is schools these days. Yeah. You know, parents hold the schools responsible for the issues with their children. No, it's the parents' issue. I, they raise the children. They instill the morals. I, if they leave the raising of the children to the school, then they get what they get. It's their prob- their fault. I couldn't agree with you more, Chris. Thank you very much for the call. It is We do have a, a society nowadays where we are not taking that personal responsibility, and that's what Chris is uh, talking about there. And I, I definitely agree that's something that I, was always instilled in me and uh, by my dad and by my mom as well. My, you know, my, my dad and I might be lawyers, we might be attorneys, but we are not in favor of just litigation for every single thing. So it is important to remember that uh, these people are personally responsible. It is it, it is someone else who has punched you and not the store itself. But attorneys usually want to include the people who have the big bucks, the deep pockets. That's what usually a lawsuit will start with is who can we enjoin into this suit to, to make more money, to get more money out of it. So it uh, looks like we do have a, a special guest caller too. Uh, line two, who's this? Hey, this is a turkey blue jeans day. <laughs> the lawyer in blue jeans calling in. Well, I just thought I'd check in because, quite frankly, um, I'm enjoying watching or listening to watching. I'm, I'm not watching anything. I'm actually listening. But uh, it's interesting about your comment on these stores being closed or not closed and legislation. I obviously I agree with you. Um, but one of the things that struck me the most is we are now approaching the end of the year and I'm making a, making a change in subject a little bit because quite frankly, uh, you're still there, right? Yeah. Am I getting a call in? Okay. I, you know, <laughs> I've got these newfangled phones that's going do do. Uh, anyway, we're approaching the end of the year and I just want everybody to know that you and I are going to be doing some pretty important stuff coming up in two weeks and people need to put that on their calendar. I know you can fill in the dates and times of what's going on, but we have those estate planning seminars that, are absolutely essential for people to hit before January 1. 
And I just wanted to kind of throw it out there and let everybody know that this is important stuff of taking control of your family and, and really bringing it home. In other words, we're talking government, we're talking laws. What we should be talking about is keeping our family together and making sure that we're in charge of our stuff. And I think that it's time for people to, to, to quit procrastinating. I know some people have been thinking about doing this for years and uh, putting it off, but no better time than the end of the year, New Year's resolution, and getting things off on the right foot. What do you think, Josh? I, I completely agree. Get a jump start on those New Year's resolutions. Actually, I was going to talk about this uh, a little bit later, too, because I watched a, a segment on Casey Kasem last night on uh, 48 Hours that did a whole expose about his uh, his second wife and his kids from his first wife and the accusations that are coming out there. Uh, so, yeah, we were, we were definitely going to get into that um, in segment two or three, I believe. But uh, it, it couldn't be stressed enough. You, you need to do this before, uh, before the new year. You, you have to do this if you haven't done it already. So um, it actually looks like we do need to take a quick break. So do you want to hang around for a couple of minutes? Um, yeah, I can, I can hang around for a second and just fill in something uh, personal that I think will bring it home to everybody. So go ahead and take a break, and I'll, uh, I'll hang in there, and uh, we'll chat on the other side of the break. Yeah, sounds good. This is the Lawyer in Blue Jeans show. My name is Attorney Justin Isaac. We'll be back right after this. Order! KFMB. Lawyer in Blue Jeans here, talking about law, life, and everything in between. Check us out on Sundays from 9 to 10 on 760 KFMB. And by the way, what I do and what we do in our law group is proactive law. Let's get the government out of our life and you be in charge of yours. We have seminars. One more set of seminars coming up in December. But if not, go to our office. Check us out online at lawyerandbluejeans.com. Give us a call. We can talk about estate planning that will help you get control. So how do Honda hybrids compare to Santa's sleigh? Well, the inside and clarity get incredible mileage and run on quiet and powerful electric drive. The sleigh can go pretty much anywhere in the universe without refueling. So, advantage Santa. But during the Happy Honda Days sales event, only Honda has incredible deals and special factory financing on our most popular hybrids. So hurry to your San Diego Honda dealers. Always sunny. Ho, ho, ho. Did you know the 30% federal tax credit for solar is only good through 2019? After that, it starts stepping down. Why is this important? Most of the reputable residential solar companies are booked out three months from the time you sign a contract. I would be wary of anyone who is not. With this significant deadline, we are anticipating four to six month lead times. There is no incentive to wait. Call Palomar Solar today to schedule your no pressure, highly educational appointment. Most homeowners are surprised they can start saving immediately with no money out of pocket. Protect yourself against the inevitable future utility rate increases and next summer's high bills. For commercial customers who are considering solar, the average install time is six to eight months from the time you sign a contract. So time is of the essence to ensure you receive your tax credit next year. Get ahead of next year's solar rush with the local name you can trust. Call Palomar Solar at 760-504-0388. That's 760-504-0388 or visit palomarsolar.com. 2018 saw a lot of volatility and changes in the stock market. Are your investments ready for 2019? Don't wait until it is here. Get your investment plan in place before the new year begins. This is Chase Wilsey from the Smart Investing Show right here on AM760 every Saturday and Sunday. At Wilsey Asset Management, we have a unique, transparent approach to investing that has been proven over the last hundred years. We believe in our strategy and invest our own money right alongside our clients' money. To learn more about our strategy, join us for our upcoming Smart Investing Workshop. It'll be held Thursday, December 6th at 7 p.m. and will take place at our offices in Scripps Ranch, so seating will be limited. Give us a call at 858-546-4306. That's 858-546-4306. Zero six, or go to smartinvesting2000.com. That's smartinvesting2000.com. San Diego's largest independently owned and operated transmission specialty shop, Rapid Transmissions, has been serving San Diego for over 45 years. Businesses trust Rapid because of their experience. They provide the best quality parts and workmanship at the most affordable prices. Rapid will work with you. They have repair options and financing for every budget. That's right. If you've been waiting to get your vehicle repaired due to cost, reach out to Rapid and see how they can help. Even if you just need a second opinion to locate a problem, stop 
stop by and see the transmission specialist for a free external diagnosis. Rapid Transmissions also provides discounts for local law enforcement and military. With three state-of-the-art facilities to serve all of San Diego, stop by Rapid for a free external diagnosis, a second opinion, or price comparison. Call 800-562-7675 for details. That's 800-562-7675 or rapidtransmissions.com. That's rapidtransmissions.com. AM 760 KFMB. Now back to the lawyer in blue jeans on AM 760 KFMB. Welcome back to the Lawyer in Blue Jeans show. My name is Attorney Justin Isaac, where we talk about law, life, and everything in between. We were just talking about Black Friday. We're uh, transitioning a little bit to talk about estate planning seminars. We do still have Lawyer in Blue Jeans on the phone, do we not? You still there? I'm, I'm still here, and I'm recovering. I, I got to tell you, this Thanksgiving was really cool because I had all the kids, five, I call them kids still, you guys are not necessarily kids, but five of the kids, all six grandchildren, and it's been a hurricane. But <laughs> some of them just left, so it's a little calmer now. But, you know, it does bring home to roost the, the essence of, of our world, and that is that we, by default, are governed by the, the government from day one, and understandably so, that happens for, you know, uh, we need the government to do lots of things, maybe not everything, but... Do we need the government to pickpocket us on our way out of life? And I'm looking at these grandchildren and looking at you guys and saying, I have a choice. I can either do something proactively and get you guys from having to go to court for three to five years, you know, um, or I'll just let you go just wander through that and lose a lot of money in the process. And that's what we're talking about in these estate planning seminars. I, I think, you know, the word estate planning probably you know, not only confuses people, but it sounds boring. And, you know, having attorneys talk about dying or not your favorite subjects. On the other hand, it's so important to at least know what's luring out there for you when uh, things go bad down the road and when we get older. And and uh, that's what we talk about at the seminar. So I just, I, I'm going to let you go on with the show and, and unless you have a comment right now. And, and I know you've got some good yeah, topics it, to talk about. I, I think but, I, I think it can't be stated. Uh, uh, it's, it's a little... It's hard to kind of convey how important it actually is, uh, just on a radio show and, you know, or Facebook Live if you're watching on, um, Lawyer and Blue Jeans or Facebook.com slash Lawyer and Blue Jeans. Uh, I think it's important though to, to remember that who you're doing it for because so many people, you work so hard for what you've achieved and what you've grown your, your life and estate to be. And then the last thing you want to do is just kind of, you know, offload that to the government and let them decide because, that quite frankly, it's pretty easy to take control back, and and that's that's Very the main easy. thing. Yeah. yeah, it's such an easy thing to do to take it back. So it, it is. Um, yeah, I, I'm. We're these seminars are going to be great. I, I have a I have a good feeling. December fourth, fifth, and sixth. Uh, go to lawyerandbluejeans.com for more information. Uh, sign up on the spot to go attend the seminar if you'd like or reserve your spot. And uh, these will be the last ones that we're going to be doing this year. So, it, you know, come see it. It's free. It's educational, too. If you already have a trust, come check us out. You're going to get nothing but good, free information. So, Well, you're going you're gonna to see um, everybody out there is going to see something different. In other words, quite frankly, everybody has different needs. And there are people out there that attempt to give seminars. I will assure you that, um, and we don't like to think that we even have competition. The way we do things and have done it for 40 years and 44 years, is, you know, as I've been in practice, is to do it different. And so we don't do typical lawyer stuff and typical dry, intimidating, holier-than-thou words. We talk about stuff in simple English and, and, and have some fun, too. We have some, some funny stuff, lawyer jokes, and also... Uh, some crazy laws that we mix in. But I tell you, when people show up and they leave, they are happy. And they're happy that they've been there. They know more than they've ever known before on this stuff. And they usually take action, whether it be with us or somebody else, it's okay. They just make sure that they have things protected because they 
a lot of the rumors and things that they thought they know is just not true. Yeah. And we're going to make sure that they know that. So I'm going to let you take over and continue with uh, what you're doing. Great, Justin. I'm sitting here with a cup of coffee watching a couple of grandkids uh, fight. So <laughs> I've got to break, I got to break that up real quick. Uh, <laughs> All right. Well, get back to grandpa duties and uh, we will see you next week back on the show. Yeah. You betcha. Have a good show. All right. Thank you. All right. Well, that was the lawyer in blue jeans for his uh, little guest spot, Colin. Um, it is, uh, well, we have a few minutes till the break. So, well, I'll give a, a quick little thing before we go to break. Uh, there was something that we saw. Has anyone watched Storage Wars? Uh, storage Wars is that show on, I think it's A&E, where you can buy someone's storage locker and whatever's in it, you basically get so people will go and they'll walk by and they'll look in the storage locker and then they'll see, well, you know, there's some valuable things in there. I kind of want this. I kind of want that. And maybe there's something in, you know, that, that file cabinet or that safe over there. And once they get in there, then they can actually go look and investigate and see what they bought. So I, I was thinking about this because this came up yesterday. A very interesting story came through where it appears that someone bought a storage locker for like $500 and inside was a safe. And usually when you watch these shows and there's a safe, there's nothing in the safe and people are, you kind of take a gamble based on that safe or, or maybe something that has like a a lock or very secure, like a gun safe or something like that too. And this one was very interesting because, uh, through this story, it appears that in the safe was $7.5 million cash. But the problem is it was wrapped up very suspiciously and also who keeps that much cash in a storage unit? This is probably not from something that is uh, on the up and up. Maybe a little illegal. Probably drugs or, you know, the mafia or something like that. So I looked into this a little bit more, and that's kind of what they were speculating, too. So as the story goes, it appears that the the person who used to own the storage unit had their attorney contact the person who just purchased it. And usually you can't, you know, you, there's no way you can find out who it is or get their information, but they were able to get their information. They called them and <laughs> probably some kind of threat or some kind of, you know, intimidation. The person returned the money, but got to keep 1.2 million of it. And so I, I found that to be a little interesting. And so I'll give you a quick brief overview of what it takes in order to take over a storage unit in California. Uh, there's a few things that you need to do. You need to, uh, usually this all goes through uh, some kind of company, an auctioneer or whatnot. But you you first have to send out a note that says you're delinquent and you can't take any action for two weeks at least. And then you have to send a notice of lien sale um, and uh, and a preliminary loan uh, lien notice as well too before the notice of lien sale. And then... The storage unit owner has, you know, their rights to get back into it and, uh, they can't really go inside until their debts are paid. So if I have a storage unit locker that's, that's worth, uh, or that I owe, say, $400 on, but the storage unit locker sells for $500, legally they have to send me that $100 because they can't keep it. But if I have a storage unit that I owe $400 on and it sells for 100 then I still owe $300. And so the collection department will then, at that point, you know, get involved or whoever they, you know, entrust for collections. But I thought that was kind of interesting because I was wondering, why would the person give the money back? Why would you give $6.3 million back when you have no legal obligation to do so? You know, maybe there's something to be said that it was intimidation. Maybe it was something from illegal means. And I don't know if I want people looking. I don't want to look over my shoulder for the next 15 years. So... It's uh, probably a good idea that they gave it back, but I don't know. So this is the Lawyer in Blue Jeans show. We have to take another quick break. We'll be back right after this. AM 760 KFMB. Lawyer in Blue Jeans here talking about law, life, and everything in between. Check us out on Sundays from 9 to 10 on 760 KFMB. And by the way, what I do and what we do in our law group is proactive law let's get the government out of our life and you be in charge of yours we have seminars one more set of seminars coming up in december but if not 
Go to our office. Check us out online at lawyerandbluejeans.com. Give us a call. We can talk about estate planning that will help you get control. Think a reverse mortgage isn't for you? Consider the new reverse mortgage loan now with no closing cost options available. To learn more, visit our website at aramco.biz where you can ask questions, request more information, and even learn about our new jumbo reverse mortgage. Or call Aramco at 877-760-1130. That's 877-760-1130. Aramco. Purchase. Refinance. Reverse. BRE 0185 animal s 277316 not all borrowers qualify borrowers still have to upkeep their home and pay their property taxes insurance and counseling fee this material is not from hud or fha and has not been approved by hud or government agency i weighed 329 pounds i was a heart attack waiting to happen i got andro 400 it makes me not so hungry i started noticing more energy i noticed my belly was starting to shrink up i started seeing weight come off 80 some pounds i went from 330 to 245 for a 56 year old guy to lose that much weight it took something brother i feel great i feel like i was when i was 35 years old that was Ruben. Now listen to what Josh says about Andro 400. Well, I'll tell you, man, that stuff really works. It was insane. I've heard the commercials, what, for a decade? I was like, oh, I'm just going to try it. My pants are, like, falling off. It really works. I bought suits last year for my new job, and they're falling off of me. It's insane. Guys, if you want to lose belly fat, gain energy, strength, and muscle, and look and feel years younger, try Andro 400, the safe, natural, and affordable way to boost your testosterone. Go to andro400.com or call 888-400-0435. That's 888-400-0435. andro400.com. Ho, oh, oh, ho, oh. ho, ho. This new Toyota is so ho ho heavy. Santa, you don't need to stuff a new Toyota from Toyota Carlsbad at Bob's Chimney. Oh, thanks, Head Elf, but he asked for a new Toyota. <laughs> right, but he used Toyota Carlsbad Express Purchase online. Toyota Carlsbad will deliver it right to his driveway. We don't even have to get involved here. Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> With Toyota Carlsbad Express Purchase, Bob just bought online from the comfort of his home and even calculated payments that work within his budget. So we don't have to haul Toyotas around? Only presents? <laughs> you got it, big bearded guy. Oh, oh, well, do you think Toyota Carlsbad Express Purchase could help us get Bob's Toyota out of this chimney? <laughs> oh, I'm on it. Toyota Carlsbad, yeah, he's done it again. Bring the crane this time. We're on a two-story. Get Black Friday savings every day now at Toyota Carlsbad. Save on a huge selection of new Toyotas with factory rebates or low lease specials. Save time with express purchase online at toyotacarlsbad.com. Toyota Carlsbad. Merry Christmas from Toyota Carlsbad. Message and data rates may apply. When did it become okay for men to be lazier, softer, fatter? We need to bring the men of this country back to greatness. And it's easier than ever with Ageless Male Max, a patent-pending formula with an ingredient that helps boost your total testosterone, promoting greater increases in muscle size and twice the reduction of body fat percentage than exercise alone. Plus, an amazing 64% increase in nitric oxide, which can be handy in the gym and in the bedroom. Take your manhood to the max by trying your first 30-day bottle free. Just pay shipping and handling. Not 10 days, not 15 days, but a full 30-day supply free. When you text the word FAST to 797979. Finally, a formula that boosts total testosterone. If your results with Ageless Male Max are too intense, please decrease use. For your free bottle, text FAST to 797979. Text F-A-S-T to 797979. CBS News Update. If you're traveling today, better get ready for a long haul thanks to dangerous winter weather in parts of the nation. National Weather Service meteorologist Stephen Mel says don't drive if you're anywhere near Kansas City. We're expecting blizzard-type conditions around the area, expecting uh, heavy snowfall amounts anywhere from 4 to 12 inches. Those uh, significant snowfall amounts coupled with the strong winds where we could see winds of 40 to 50 miles an hour is going to lead to blizzard and whiteout type conditions. There's a winter storm warning in Chicago where up to a foot of snow is expected. CBS travel editor Peter Greenberg says be patient. Keep in mind the two busiest travel days of the year were actually the Friday of last week before Thanksgiving and today. When you have weather, it compounds the situation. Obviously, people are returning today with extra luggage. They're returning today with families and kids. There are already more than 8,000 flights delayed. CBS News Update. I'm Allison Keyes. Now, from the studios of News 8, live, local, San Diego's talk and breaking news.
News. This is AM760. Sentencing takes place tomorrow at the Vista Courthouse. That's one of the stories we're following on AM760. David Luce will go before a judge after pleading guilty to charges of spraying his girlfriend with lighter fluid and threatening to kill her. Luce was arrested last August on suspicion of attempted murder at a home on Bruley Lane in Vista. Sheriff's authorities say Luce also threatened to kill his family. San Diego State's football team lost to Hawaii last night in overtime 31-30 to at SDCCU Stadium in the Aztecs' regular season finale. SDSU has dropped three straight. And resume workshops will be held tomorrow at Miramar College. We're sponsored by Interfaith Community Services. Help the homeless and join Interfaith Community Services as they pledge to end and prevent homelessness for 2019 individuals next year. To learn more, visit interfaithservices.org. In weather, it's fair and 65 at Lindbergh Field. In sports, the goals skate against the heat later today in Stockton. AM 760, talk and breaking news. Now back to the lawyer in blue jeans on AM 760 KFMB. Welcome back to the Lawyer and Blue Jeans Show. My name is Attorney Justin Isaac, and I am uh, going solo today. No Lawyer in Blue Jeans. He is at home recovering from uh, a turkey overload, Thanksgiving overload. It's been a hectic couple of days, but, you know, he deserves a little bit of a break. So he'll be back next week. Uh, let me throw the phone numbers out there again. 1-800-760-KFMB, 1-800-765-362. And, you know, we've talked about a couple things today. We've talked about... Black Friday, we've talked about storage wars, but we also kind of touched on estate planning. And this is this is what we do. We are estate planning attorneys, and I know that's not the most thrilling or exciting topic to talk about, but it's always in the news. It is always in the news, it seems like, whether it be Aretha Franklin or Prince or people, all these people, especially, you know, big legacy celebrities passing away without the proper estate planning documents. And I think that's important to know that you could do better than a celebrity. You can do better than someone who is extremely famous and opt your family out of the default position, which is going directly to the government for them to decide who receives your estate and also picking your pocket on the way out too, because it takes a very long time as we already kind of mentioned. So I, I want to kind of get into what I saw last night in 48 hours. Casey Kasem, a lot of people know who he was. If you aren't aware of who Casey Kasem was, he was a very famous DJ who for many, many years did the America's Top 40 and Top 20 and had a pretty sizable estate. And usually you wouldn't think a, a disc jockey would get a very big estate as a result, but he was extremely popular and well-liked. And he even has his own Hollywood walk fame star too but it was interesting because 48 hours was kind of diving into what happened and now casey Kasem passed away in 2014 and his second wife who he married when i i don't remember exactly how old his kids were i think they were maybe teenagers or maybe even young adults at that point and apparently there was never they never really got along there was some contention and the the wife at that time or, uh, you know, right before he passed away, was denying access to the kids for them to see their father. There was all kinds of accusations about what she was or wasn't doing uh, as far as caring for him. And I, I thought it was pretty important because it's it, this goes into estate planning as well. Because if you have a proper estate plan, all of this is taken care of. And there were some questions as to a, a power of attorney and a, a medical power of attorney, also known as advanced health care directive, that he signed power over to his, his oldest daughter. Uh, and, you know, the, the wife was claiming that that was done under duress and that he was, you know, uh, it had some medical issues going on. He had some sutures in his head from uh, a fall or something like that. And 48 Hours does a great job of investigating. And they said, no, he didn't actually fall. He did have sutures in his head, but that was because he had a, a hair implant surgery uh, a week before and 10 days before or something like that. So I don't know if that would really affect him um, like a, a fall would, because you know you could say that he might not have been in the right state of mind when he signed that power over to his oldest daughter and took it away from his then current wife. And so there was a huge legal fight over this. And, uh, you know, she, the wife took Casey from LA to then Vegas and then up to Washington and didn't tell anyone. 
And when the oldest daughter tried to get the, the health care uh, directive enforced with her power to take over and make sure he's getting the proper care, the, the attorney for the then wife of Casey Kasem said, oh, we don't know where he is. He's been taken away and we aren't exactly sure of where he is because we're doing that for his safety because and so this kind of brought up a lot of different things you know if you if you don't have the proper documents in place this is something that can happen if you don't have the proper estate planning documents there could be fighting there could be issues there could be lawsuits like there the, with Casey Kasem the wife is now uh being sued by the kids for wrongful death and has countersued for wrongful death as well. Because what happened ultimately was the eldest daughter did get control over her father up in Washington. And then they brought brought him to the hospital. And there was all kinds of issues where he had this deep bed sore and a urinary tract infection. All these different problems that it looks like wasn't from proper care. And that's I'm not a nurse or a doctor. I don't know intimately. But it seemed like it probably just wasn't the proper care that was being given to him. And so the doctors said that he's not going to survive. And so according to his health care plan, they pulled him off life support. And luckily he had that in place. But that's the thing is if you don't have a health care plan in place, if you don't have a power of attorney in place, and you think that your your spouse or your kids just get to make those decisions for you, I don't think so. That's not how it works nowadays. There's HIPAA laws, there's restrictions. So one eight hundred seven sixty KFMB one eight hundred seven sixty five three six two. Call in if you if you want to weigh in on this. But we're we are talking about estate planning, and this is this is what we do. This this is what the seminars are, is all about. You know, this is the information we want to convey to people that it's not so straightforward. It's not that you know I'm the spouse, I get to decide. That's not the case. If you have a if you have a child who's in college, nineteen twenty years old, and something happens to them. They're an adult. You can't make decisions as their parent anymore unless you have a power of attorney in place, unless you have a healthcare directive in place. That's why it is so important to have these documents and done right. So our seminars, they are coming up, as we mentioned earlier, December 4th, 5th, and 6th. Uh, December 4th, we're in Mission Valley. Uh, December 5th, we're in Escondido. And on December 6th, we're doing uh, two, actually. We're doing uh, we're going to Chula Vista and El Cajon. So go to lawyerandbluejeans.com for more information. But... Casey Kasem's oldest daughter actually had she had some legislation passed that helps kids who are being denied access. Uh, it passed seventy seven to zero in the California Assembly, um, and it says that the uh, Assembly Bill ten eighty five will provide legal recourse when children are being denied access to a parent by their parent's current spouse or another family member. Now that is very general, and I have no idea what that exactly means because I believe that the courts are there in place anyways to help them in a situation like that. What this bill actually does to get them even further along, I guess I, I don't know exactly, but it, it says that it gives them maybe it fast tracks uh, issues or if there's any question as to elder abuse, because that's another thing that the the wife was accused of was elder abuse. And that is a pretty prevalent thing um, in the in the United States, elder abuse is very common, actually, unfortunately. And so, you know, uh, adult protective services is a number that, you know, if you if you need to, if you suspect someone, obviously, you should call that number. Um, but also, the uh, adults, you need to go to our estate planning seminars, you need to check out what we have to say, because this is what we deal with. And sometimes we deal with the the muck like this, this is not the kind of stuff we want to deal with. But this is what comes along because you have people who who see dollar signs and Casey Kasem's estate is worth 80 to 100 million dollars. So there's a lot of incentive financially for either side. And I don't know what his trust says. And I assume he has a trust because we haven't heard anything about it. If he didn't, it would be in the news because it would be in probate. And that is another benefit of having a trust. Having a proper estate plan will keep your things, your affairs out of probate. And now we're, we're only hearing about this because there's accusations of, of murder, basically. Uh, but if you have the proper estate plan in place, if that healthcare directive was a little bit better, I don't know if we would have this issue or we would even hear about it. I mean, we probably would just because it's Casey Kasem and it's a, you know, celebrity, but I don't know if we would get the same extent that we're hearing about it now. So that is the unfortunate part uh, that we have to deal with on estate planning. So, um, well, it looks like we have to go to our last break. So, uh, 
This is the Lori and Blue Jeans Show. My name is attorney Justin Isaac. We'll be back right after this. If you have termites, think twice before putting up the tent. As soon as your pest control company takes the tent off, they can immediately swarm right back in and start damaging your home again. Today, you can control termites without disruptive tenting when you call X-Termite. X-Termite offers the orange oil treatment that controls termites and keeps the tents off. In fact, X-Termite has never tented a home and never will. Orange oil termite control is done without tents, so you won't have to move out or bag up all your food. Plus, no worries about roof or plant damage. And you and your pets can stay home while X-Termite does the work. Oh, and you'll love the clean orange scent, too. You don't have to tent your home to control termites. Find out more about the no-tent orange oil treatment and receive a free termite inspection when you call 888-289-6976. 888-289-6976. That's 888-289-6976. Message and data rates may apply. Individual results may vary. See website for details. But hey, I'm buying a huge flat screen TV so I can finally see it without my glasses. Why not just get LASIK at the LASIK Vision Institute? That's what I'm doing. Uh, My glasses and contacts are a pain. I'd love to finally get rid of these, but who can afford LASIK? You can. Because the LASIK Vision Institute is offering dramatically low prices and an absolutely free consultation. Just text TRY to 350-350. The LASIK Vision Institute has already performed over a million procedures. They use the latest FDA-approved LASIK technology that helps the majority of patients achieve 20-20 vision for a fraction of what others charge. Better vision, better value. The LASIK Vision Institute. Make this the year you finally get LASIK. For a free consultation plus an extra 20% discount, text TRY to 350-350. You'll see for free if LASIK is right for you. That's T-R-Y to 350-350. So a lot of us just don't have as much money as it takes to live here in California. Kevin Lyons at Anchor Funding can help you lower your payments by paying off your outstanding debt. Those credit cards, car payment, that adjustable line of credit, maybe even find some extra money hiding in your mortgage that you didn't know was there. And Kevin's with me right now. Kevin, give us a good anchor funding success story. Well, Mike, we just helped some listeners combine a first mortgage, an adjustable line of credit, and over $30,000 of credit card debt into one low payment. They're now saving over $700 a month. Wow. They were also able to get about $28,000 cash off for some home improvement. It's awesome. Five minutes over the phone. Kevin can tell you how much money. He can save you. Been doing this for 18 years, helping people lower their payments and get some extra cash. And his company, Anchor Funding, it's a direct lender right here in San Diego. You got nothing to lose. Find out how much he can save you. 1-800-333-5157. 1-800-333-5157. Or anchorfunding.net. Equal housing lender. California Bureau of Real Estate Broker Number 01276087. NMLS 236419. Not all applicants qualify. Loans made are arranged pursuant to the Department of Business Oversight California Finance Lenders Law. News 8 on the CW San Diego is your choice for your voice. Wake up with a new member of the News 8 Morning Extra team. Get live updates on your commute with Jenny Milkowski as she joins Eric, Heather, and Michelle to get you up and out to work on time from 7 to 9. Then catch up on the day's biggest stories with Barbara Lee Edwards and Carlo Chiquetto at 7 and end the night with Marcella and Carlo at 10. News 8 at 7 a.m., 7 p.m., and 10 p.m. on the CW San Diego. On Daily Blast Live, we're not afraid to say what's on our minds. This is a culture that has been propagated by Hollywood. I did totally disagree with my co-host. From the hot trending topics. We are following what could be a bombshell. To what's cool in pop culture. Get real. This makes me really not like Chrissy Teigen right now. Nothing's off limits on Daily Blast Live. Keep believing it's okay. And keep letting the heads roll. I'm so happy we're just having this conversation. Weekdays at noon on The CW San Diego. AM 760 KFMB. Now back to the lawyer in blue jeans on AM 760 KFMB. Welcome back to the lawyer in blue jeans show. My name is Justin Isaac, and uh, this is a Thanksgiving weekend. The show's flown by already. We are in the last segment. It's very interesting. We were talking about Casey Kasem and uh, our producer, also named Justin, just told me that they used to, she, Carrie Kasem used to do a show in this studio that he used to work with her. 
he was their producer and they they would come in and do an hour show on Sundays I guess and this is right before the uh, the whole incident went down a few years back uh, but I thought that was very interesting so she's been in the studio and she uh, really interesting um, so I am sitting in Carrie Kasem's chair it seems like <laughs> um, so it looks like we do have a call we have Megan in San Diego uh, Megan how you doing Good. Thanks for taking my call. Of course. Did you um, want to I weigh in on Casey Kasem? Yes, because I watched the show last night with my parents, so I actually have two questions. Um, one being, the wife flew him to Norway to, to bury him, and I guess nobody was actually at that service. And so as far as protection, what kind of right does someone have just to go fly somebody to another country for their funeral service is that something that's included in the state plan or how does that work that's a great question i and you know i saw that too and i thought that was so odd because they said uh you know casey Kasem wasn't um from norway i don't they i think they said that he'd never even been to norway his kids uh you know i think he was lebanese and he said that he wanted to be buried in la according to the kids but the wife ultimately got to decide and that seems to be part of the litigation that's going on right now too is they want to bring him back from norway now if you had this in your estate plan if you had this in your healthcare directive you'd be able there, there would be no question as to where you wanted to be buried and so that is another benefit to the healthcare directive is you get to decide where you want to be buried if you want to be buried or if you want to be cremated if you want to be kept on life support, if you don't want to be kept on life support. And it's invaluable to have that information all in one place when and you've put pen to paper before it comes to a situation like this where you have family and kids fighting over what you might or might not have said during your lifetime. So I I think it's a very important point to bring up. And I, I don't know why he got brought out to Norway. That was so bizarre to me. And, uh, and I don't know if that was even made public to the kids, which is another, another issue where I, I would be pretty upset if I didn't get to be at the funeral for one of my parents. But it sounds like they had so many other issues going on, too. It, and the whole situation with the, the stepmom was a little bit you know, just kind of shady. She was not providing a lot of information. The kids had to do a, a staged uh, demonstration outside the house to try and get people or to try and bring awareness that they weren't being allowed in. And I guess that's what sparked the uh, the Assembly Bill uh, 1035 or wh- whatever uh, the number was uh, to get that litigation passed to where kids can see their parents in situations like that. So that's a very good point you bring up there. Uh, Megan, did you did you have another question? Yes. Um, my other question, because I was watching the show actually with my parents, and I have a will and a health care directive, um, but I don't have the whole thing, I guess. It's called a trust. Um, and my dad said that should be sufficient. Um, I don't have that much money. I'm still pretty young, and I know you are just talking about the importance of it. Yeah. So but let me ask you, Megan, do you have um, any property or minor children? I, uh, no children. I do have one. I do own a condo. Okay. So that, that's the trigger right there. Uh, in our seminars, we kind of talk about this and, uh, thank you very much for calling in, Megan. We appreciate that. But, uh, w- when you have an, the reasons you would need an estate plan would be, uh, th- one of three reasons. If you have minor children, if you have over $150,000 in total assets, or if you have any property, the only way to transfer a piece of property to someone else is to, is to have either a probate order, or with a living trust. And obviously, we've kind of talked about it or touched on the, the problems with having um, you know, probate in, in general. And probate is going to take years and years where a trust takes however much time you want it to take. It could be done within a couple of months or it could be drawn out over a couple of years. The proper estate plan is really at your your decision. The person who creates the trust gets to decide when their kids or their family members or loved ones get to actually receive their assets. So if you have a piece of property, like Megan said she did, you need a trust. And uh, it, you do. a lot of people think that a will is sufficient, and for some people it might be. But if you hit any of those three triggers that I just said, then you're going to need a trust. And a, a it's very kind of an old school way of thinking uh, the need that, oh, I only need a will or, oh, I can make the decisions when you really can't. And even my, my grandfather, my dad's dad, was of that mindset, oh, I don't, I don't need a trust. 
even after going through the the seminar and having it explained by his own son, he still thought, no, nah, I'm okay with the will because that's all I need. And that's all we've been taught. It's what we see in movies. It's what we see in TV. We We need more than what just meets the eye sometimes. And that's what we're here to do is just to kind of educate people and let you know why that isn't sufficient. Because a will isn't sufficient. It goes to probate, pure and simple. And a lot of people, well, if you think that, hey, probate's not so bad and I, I don't mind probate, well, then you don't need a trust. That, it's that easy. But if you don't want your kids, your loved ones, your family members to have to go through years and years of the probate process, it is really, it is two to three years, almost minimum. It's hard to get by with a uh, a quick probate or anything under two years nowadays because bureaucracy and just kind of how our government works. And we used to have only two judges and our probate process went down when we got a third judge. It went down. The, the amount of time it took went under two years and we were so happy. And now it's back up over two years on average. And we have seen a probate that was there a piece of property that was actually in probate for 21 years. And that is just ridiculous. And that whole time, remember, everything that you have that is in probate is frozen. No one can touch it. That is obviously not what you want. That's not what you want for your family. So come get protected. Uh, December 4th, 5th, and 6th, we are going to be all over the county. Go to LawyerInBlueJeans.com for more information. And, uh, you know, hopefully your estate doesn't end up like Casey Kasem. Nobody wants that. Even if you have a small estate, it's still possible. That's not what you want. So come see us. We'll all be out there. It's the last estate planning seminar of the year, December 4th, 5th, and 6th. LawyerInBlueJeans.com for more information. This has been a quick and great show. Uh, Thanksgiving weekend. My name is Attorney Justin Isaac. Thank you, every mu- everybody, for who called in. And uh, have a great weekend. KFMB. Has this happened to you? Your kid accidentally clogs your sink, your tub, your toilet? It's happened to me. Nightmare. Many of you may try to clean up the water yourselves with towels, oh, paper towels, towels, old t-shirt that I had. It may even look dry to the human eye, but what you don't realize is there could be damage beneath the surface that can't be seen or touched under the floors, in the walls, in the baseboards. There's actual potential for mold growth that may cause a potential health crisis. Call the experts at Central Flood Management. Save the number in your phone right now, 1-800-55-FLOOD. They'll dispatch a lead certified technician immediately to any size water damage or plumbing emergency day or night with their state-of-the-art moisture detection equipment. And did you know that even accidental overflows may be covered by insurance? Central Flood will help you file an insurance claim and navigate the claim process. They'll even give up to $2,500 off your deductible. Restrictions may apply. From plumbing to reconstruction, call 1-800-55-FLOOD. Give us a call. We do it all. 1-800-55-FLOOD.com. Serving America's finest city. 75 years. This is AM760. KFMB. San Diego's talk and breaking news. This is CBS News on the Hour. Sponsored by TheraWorks Relief. I'm Allison Keys. Post-Thanksgiving weekend, travelers had best get ready for a long day with winter storms pounding parts of the Midwest. National Weather Service meteorologist Stephen Mill says Kansas City will be a mess. We're expecting uh, 4 to 12 inches across the area, some heavier amounts across northern Missouri, and those snow totals coupled with the winds... 40 to 50 miles an hour is going to lead to some very dangerous conditions, blizzard conditions across the area with some whiteout for people traveling today. CBS travel editor Peter Greenberg says if you missed an early flight, you're probably in for drama. Weather compounds the problem to the point where if you don't get the first flight out of the day, you're in.